Let C1 etc up to Cn be scalars not all 0 such that sigma i equals to 1 to n Ci ai equal to 0 where ai are column vectors in r power n. Consider the set of linear equations ax equals b where a equal to a1 a2 etc up to an and b equal to sigma i equal to 1 to n an. The set of linear equations have and we have been given these four options regarding solutions. So this is a question from linear algebra. They have framed the question in a bit confusing format so I will break it down for you. C1 to Cn are scalars meaning that C1 to Cn are just real numbers and A1 to An are column vectors in R power n meaning each Ai is a column vector of n rows and one column. So Ai can be written like this. It's an n by n matrix each Ai is and A is nothing but the combination of A1, A2, A3 etc up to An. So A1, A2 etc are column vectors so we can write a1 a2 up to a n these are n by 1 vectors and there are n vectors like that so a is an n by n vector here and b is the sum of i equal to sigma equal to 1 to n a n so b is also just a column vector just like a is which is the sum of all a is now we'll come to the question they have given this statement a x equal to b so a is an n by n matrix and x will be an n by 1 matrix of x's which is equal to b. And they are asking us to find out the number of solutions to this equation. So number of solutions for linear homogeneous equations is like ax equal to b is if rank of a is less than rank of ab it means that there is no solution the equations are inconsistent. If rank of a equals to rank of ab equals to n which means that it has a unique solution. If rank of A equal to rank of AB which is less than N, it will mean that there are infinitely many solutions. So you need to understand how to solve these equations from linear algebra topic. You can refer to video lectures here to understand how we got these three points. And also rank of a matrix A is the number of linearly independent row or column, ve column vectors in A. It's not matrix, it's vector. independent row or column vectors in A. So based on this understanding, we'll solve the question. Let's look at matrix A. It has n vectors there, but it's given that sigma i equal to 1 to n, ci ai equal to 0. So some linear combination of all these ai vectors will give 0, which means that these the set of all of these are linearly dependent, which means we don't have n linearly independent vectors in a1, a2, a3, etc. up to an. If a1, a2, a3 all were linearly independent, then sigma equal to 1 to n ci ai would never have been 0. Which means in a there are no n independent vectors. We don't have n independent vectors in a, meaning that rank of a is less than n. And let's take a look at rank of a, b which is a transpose with b to the right side. So if you look at b, you can see that b is the sum of sigma i equal to 1 to n a n. So this new vector b is a sum of a1, a2, a3, etc. up to a n. So this is also linearly dependent to a1, a2, a3, etc. up to a n. So adding the new vector b doesn't give us a new linearly independent vector here. So the number of linearly independent vectors in A will be equal to the number of linearly independent vectors in B which means that rank of AB is also equal to rank of A. Now if you look at the options we can see that rank of AB equals rank of A and that rank will be less than N which means there are infinitely many solutions. So C is the answer.